Hi, it's the Beducator, Jeff Shire, owner of mattress to go I've been asked quite a bit recently about the proliferation of some of these mattress review sites. Why are there so many of them out there? Why are they reviewing so many of the same brands? What's up with this? Well, in actuality, most of these are mattress revenue sites, not mattress review sites. The ownership of these sites tend to be great marketers and website designers, but quite often they know very little, if anything, about mattresses, their design and construction. Let me explain a little bit further. Recently within the mattress industry, there's been an explosion of online mattress retailers. Now, most of these companies don't even make their own product. As a matter of fact, most of their staff is comprised of marketers and website designers, and their goal is to leverage social media in order to help facilitate the sale of their products. One company, one of the largest, recently stated that their overall goal was to control the entire online discussion about mattresses. And to do this, they hired quite a few writers. That's sort of scary stuff. So one of the ways that they're doing this is they're creating these online mattress review sites or they're backing these review sites. You create the facade of an objective online mattress review location and then what they're doing, they're using these sites to drive sales towards their products. Now I will agree that the industry has been very, very lacking in good objective online media presence, many of the larger companies out there. But this isn't the way that I wanted to see it grow within the industry. Fortunately, there are ways to easily spot these what I call fake online review sites. And let me help you out with that. One of the easiest ways to spot these dubious online mattress review sites is that they'll offer very large discount coupons, usually $75 to $100 off on the mattresses that they just so happen to be reviewing. How convenient is that? The next thing that you'll tend to notice is that they'll not tend to get into too great of detail about the product itself. They won't tend to talk about foam densities or quality of construction of these mattresses. And all of the mattresses they're reviewing will tend to get a decent rating. They're never going to trash a brand that they're getting paid to endorse. I've yet to see that. And the final thing that you'll tend to notice about these sites is that they'll all tend to review the same mattresses, usually the online only mattress retailers and quite often maybe a few of the larger national brands, but they really tend to focus on these online only mattress companies. Now here's what the owners of these mattress review sites won't tell you. They get paid and they get paid a lot. If you click on one of those discount coupons on their website and you buy the product, they generally get a 50 to $75 referral fee. And that's for each and every time somebody buys a product linking through their website. So that sort of takes the objectivity out of a mattress review site, doesn't it? Also, these reviewers will get free mattresses. I know of one person who owns a mattress review website, not affiliated with any of these programs, but he's been begged time and time again by multiple brands, we'll send you a mattress, we'll send you one for a guest bedroom, we'll send you one for a friend. We just want you on board, we want you to review our product, we want you to promote it on our website. And they're constantly telling him how he has a short time frame to make money before the market is saturated and they're just begging him to review their mattress. Again, it's all about the marketing, all about the promoting of the product. Even so, many of these mattress review sites, these people have never tried the mattress and they've never torn open the mattress and learned about the quality of construction of the product. So if they don't know that, how can they objectively review and recommend this mattress to anybody? In the end, it's really all about the Benjamins. And there's a lot of Benjamins to be made here. Many people have quit their regular jobs just to put up these regular sites. People who have nothing to do with the mattress industry. I even know of two people who were working for a marketing firm that worked with a mattress company helping to promote their product in this manner. They saw there was so much money to be made, they quit their job with a marketing company and they've opened up their own mattress review site. Again, knowing nothing about mattresses themselves, only knowing about how much money there is to be made hosting one of these sites. In the end, there is no true mattress review site. It just can't be done. There are over 500 facilities making mattresses in the United States. There's over 10,000 different models out there. Even if you reviewed every single mattress from top to bottom made in the United States, by the time you got to the end of that list, you'd have to start all over again because half of the models would already be changed. Mattress companies are always changing their specifications and designs. What a website should really do is it should teach you about componentry, about foams, about spring units, about quality of construction, about durability of these products. That way it empowers you as a consumer. You can go into any mattress store, look at any product, ask for the specifications and you would know right away 
whether this is something that will be durable, whether it is something that suits your needs. A website can't make a one-size-fits-all recommendation. This product is great for you. They don't know you. They've never met you. They don't know your somatotype. They don't know your individual health characteristics. They don't know your sleeping posture. They don't know if you're petite or if you weigh 400 pounds. What works for you might not work for somebody in California, might not work for somebody in Florida or somebody right here in Michigan. They can't say that. What you need to learn and know about is componentry and sleep ergonomics, or go to a site that describes those things. And fortunately, within the industry, there are a few sites that do that. So you want to look for websites that provide good objective mattress information, much like what I try to do here with my Beducation videos. I try to provide a good, basic, objective analysis about mattresses, their components, how they're constructed, and also give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look about the retail and manufacturing mattress industry. That way, you can go to any mattress store across the country and be armed with good knowledge and be able to make an educated and informed purchase. If you really want to get into the minutia of how a mattress is constructed and the details about foams and spring units, visit a website like themattressunderground.com. They really have tons of objective detailed information. So overall, Avoid mattress review sites that have large discount coupons, specifically coupons that apply to the products they're reviewing. Those are mattress revenue sites. Also, if the mattress site is always recommending a particular brand, avoid that mattress site. If all the mattresses get good or great reviews, that's hardly objective. If the mattress review sites only focus on a few specific brands, particularly the brands that are only sold online. That's a key tip off that this is a mattress review site that's a revenue site, not a true mattress review site. Also, if the website doesn't discuss the details of the product, they don't get into the specifications, the density and the quality of the foams, the amount of foams or the inner spring unit on the inside, or the quality of construction, avoid that website at all. All of these things will call into question the objectivity and credibility of that particular website. The internet is a great place for learning. I use it all the time to learn about the mattress industry from studies all over the world. It's also a great place to make money and a great place for people to make money off of you. Marketers know that people put way too much credit in the things that they read and then they combine that with a coupon on the website, boom, marketing 101, they've got you and they're turning you into Pavlov's dog and they're laughing all the way to the bank. The problem with these mattress revenue sites is that they're exclusively about money at the expense of your health because sleep and restoration are key components to your overall well-being. And when these sites make blanket recommendations on, about a product without knowing you at all, without knowing anything about your individual health characteristics, I find that unappealing, disreputable, and a disservice to you. But there's no law against it. Anybody can do it. So in the end, like so many different things, you need to use your common sense. You need to protect yourself. Remember, a slick web presence tells you nothing about the veracity of the content placed within.